Almost all PC users strive to achieve maximum performance when playing games. However, the problem arises when running Windows, as it typically consumes nearly 70% of the RAM, resulting in slow performance. Since many Windows processes run in the background, RAM usage sometimes spikes to 90%, which can be frustrating. But don't worry, because in today's video, I'll introduce you to an ultralight version of Windows 10 that is 10 times better than Atlas or Tiny 10, and it promises significant performance improvements no matter what game you play. So let's stop talking and switch to the computer screen, where I'll guide you through the rest of the process. Let's roll. To install this operating system, you'll need just two files, Rufus and the ISO file. Additionally, you'll require a pen drive of at least 8 GB capacity. If you don't have a pen drive, you can also use a memory card. First, insert the pen drive and launch Rufus. Then, drag and drop the ISO file into Rufus. As soon as you do this, the option below will automatically change to GPT. If your PC is already based on GPT, leave it as it is. However, if it's using MBR like mine, you'll need to change it to MBR. After making this change, click on the Start button. After the process is complete, simply restart your PC and repeatedly press the boot key to access the boot menu. From there, choose the USB storage device and your pen drive will boot up. If you're using a laptop from a different brand, the process might vary as each PC has a different method of accessing the boot menu. Once the USB boots up, you'll see an interface similar to this. If you've been using Windows for quite some time, you'll probably know that most Windows setups are quite similar. So, I'll fast forward through this part. And don't worry, your previous Windows installation won't be affected. But remember to install this OS in a separate partition. One more thing, if you've been using Windows for quite some time, you'll know that the Windows installation process restarts about eight to 10 times. After your PC restarts, you'll land on the setup page where you'll need to set your username, password, and other details. Once you've completed the setup, the command prompt will automatically open, which will tweak Windows according to your PC specifications. This process will take around 20 to 25 minutes to complete. After it's done, your PC will restart once again. All right, Revy OS has been successfully installed, and now let's discuss its features in detail. Firstly, you'll find two tools on the desktop. Brave Browser, which is an alternative to Internet Explorer, and this OS own tweaking tool, which allows you to further enhance its performance. Additionally, you can access the main system settings from this tool with just one click. Moreover, updates for this operating system will continue to roll out, so you don't need to worry about keeping it up to date. If you were to access the Start menu, you'd find only a few essential apps here. Any bloatware apps that were present have been removed as usual. Unlike Atlas OS or Tiny10, where even the Microsoft Store was removed, you'll find the store here in this OS, allowing you to easily download any software or game you need. Additionally, you can see that the latest version of Revy OS is installed and fully activated, so there's no need for manual activation. All right, friends, that was Revy OS. I'm glad I could tell you as much as possible about this OS, and I hope I've cleared up any doubts you may have had. But if you still have any questions or problems, feel free to ask me in the comments, or you can connect with me on Facebook or Instagram. Also, if you're looking for a low-end browser for your low-end PC, click on the video on the left, and I'll meet you there.